Hi and welcome. Today we're talking about a few of the many unexplained UFO encounters above the Norway's Northern Lights. Better listen. The night of Saturday 12, July 1986, the married couple Tove and Thorfinn with some friends were enjoying the fine Nordic summer night. The location was the mountain farm near Torbo, southern Norway. Suddenly, around 1 am, they realized that Mrs. Tove was staring at the window, so they asked why she was so astonished. Look at the light up there, she replied. It rose up from the horizon to the sky above. They all moved outside the house, and Mr. Thorfinn right away wanted to use his camera, which earlier had some battery problems. With the camera fixed, just like their drawing shows, he directed the lenses towards the phenomenon, which was located in the northeast direction, somewhere in the distance. These are the photographs that Mr. Thorfinn made. The object was round at the top and the bottom, and in the middle it had three clearly visible circular lights. This is how they saw the object when they drew it. Few moments after, Mr. Tonning became aware of the second object, just as he and the others were observing the first one. Few more photos were made when the two of them were visible together. As fast as they appeared, both objects have started to vanish at the night sky, leaving them with the last photograph, which had no use afterwards. Just about a week later, representatives from the UFO Norge, non-profit organization for the people who are interested in the study of the UFO phenomena, paid a visit to Mr. Thorfinn and his wife. The investigators were highly impressed by the story, photographs that were shared, and shortly afterwards, the research began to take shape. A few days forward, the Norwegian Weather Institute in Oslo was contacted to provide the specific data about the exact location of Torp, and they responded by sending generated files from the two automatic weather stations around that location. Right away, the reasonable explanations began to occur, therefore Jupiter was considered as a suspect for the second or the first object seen from Torpo, just like in this image. This planet was comparatively high in the sounder direction during the observing time, together with the fact that it was shining with a clear distant light which was reflected by the passing clouds in the sky. A lot of questions were still unanswered and the lack of reasonable information was missing, therefore Norway's UFO center was not able to proceed. They announced that if any important information should surface, they will return to this case and will try to set this mystery free. North part of Norway, August 21st, 2006. From Finsnes to Tromsø, a strange light phenomenon was reported seen by many people in the sky. Bright and green shining orb was traveling with a great speed in the night sky and was described by witnesses as big as an aircraft. The police and the Coast Guard were contacted by hundreds of people who saw the object. Some people believed and the newspapers have seriously claimed that it was a UFO and for a while it remained so. A few days later the phenomenon was explained as a bolide. A bolide is an exceptionally bright meteor, and the astronomers tend to identify it as a bright like fireball meteor which explodes in the atmosphere. Here are some of a better quality captured bolide videos. December 9, 2009, 
Northern Norway, the incident that will spread across the media all over the world. Here is one of the best remaining footage from that night. Jesus. It was named the Norwegian Spiral Anomaly. Hundreds of calls flooded the Norwegian Meteorological Institute as residents wanted to know what they were seeing. First logical explanation was that it is a rare, never before seen northern light, while UFO enthusiasts right away began speculating whether it is an extraterrestrial intelligence opening up a wormhole or somehow revealing their presence. It didn't take long to try and connect the dots in this case. The second day, December 10th, Russian Defense Ministry announced that a Bulava missile test had failed. The missile's first two stages worked as normal, but there was a technical malfunction at the third stage of the trajectory. Although the Russians have never confirmed that this phenomenon occurred because of their failed missile test, astrophysicists like Jonathan McDowell from Harvard Center for Astrophysics had already suggested that an unusual light display occurred when the missile's third stage nozzle was damaged, causing the exhaust to come out sideways and sending the missile into a spin. From way down below the ground to all the way up, Norway surrounds many incidents, stories, legends, so it is up to us to know and to tell them right. Thanks for watching.